God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, who for our sake suffered death and was buried. Come, <coughs> let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King of all gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea that belongs to him, the dry land too, for it is formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. They challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my hearts. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, who for our sakes suffered death and was buried. Our hymn will be, Were You There?, in the back of the booklet. <coughs> Were you
A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Be careful. The promise of reaching the place of rest he had for them still holds good. 
and none of you must think that he has come too late for it. We received the good news exactly as they did, but hearing the message did, did them no good because they did not share the faith of those who listened. We, however, who have faith, shall reach a place of rest, as in the text. And so, in anger, I swore that not one would reach the place of rest I had for them. God works. God's work was undoubtedly all finished at the beginning of the world. As one text says, referring to the seventh day. After all his work, God rested on the seventh day. The text we are considering says, they shall not reach the place of rest I had for them. It is established then that there would be some people who would reach it. And since those who first heard the good news fail to reach it through their disobedience, God fixed another day when, much later, he said, Today, through David, in the text already quoted, If only you would listen to him today, do not harden your hearts. If Joshua had led them into this place of rest, God would not later on have spoken so much of another day. There must still be, therefore, a place of rest reserved for God's people, the seventh-day rest, since to reach the place of rest is to rest after your work, as God did after his. We must therefore do everything we can to reach this place of rest. For well, some of you might copy this example of disobedience and be lost. The Word of God is something alive and active. It cuts like any double-edged sword, but more finely, it can slip through the place where the soul is divided from the spirit or joints from the marrow. It can judge the secret emotions and thoughts. No created thing can hide from him. Everything is uncovered and opened to the eyes of the one to whom we must give account of ourselves. The word of the Lord. From an ancient homily for Holy Saturday, the Lord's descent into the underworld. Something strange is happening. There is a great silence on earth today, a great silence and stillness. The whole earth keeps silence because the king is asleep. The earth trembled and is still because God has fallen asleep in the flesh and he has raised up all who have slept ever since the world began. God has died in the flesh, and hell trembles with fear. He has gone to search for our first parent as for the lost sheep, greatly desiring to visit those who live in darkness and in the shadow of death. He has gone to free from sorrow the captives, Adam and Eve, he who is both God and the son of Eve. The Lord approached them bearing a cross, the weapon that had won him the victory. At the sight of him, Adam, the first man he had created, struck his breast in terror and cried out to everyone, my Lord, be with you all. Christ answered him and with your spirit. 
He took him by the hand and raised him up, saying, Awake, O sleeper, and rise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. I am your God, who for your sake have become your son. Out of love for you and for your descendants, I now by my own authority command all who are held in bondage to come forth, all who are in darkness to be enlightened, all who are sleeping to arise. I order you, O sleeper, to awake. I did not create you to be held a prisoner in hell. Rise from the dead, for I am the life of the dead. Rise up, work of my hands, you who were created in my image. Rise, leave this place, for you are in me and I am in you. Together we form only one person and we cannot be separated. For your sake, I, your God, became your son. I, the Lord, took the form of a slave. I, whose home is above the heavens, descended to the earth and beneath the earth. For your sake, for the sake of man, I became like a man without help, free among the dead. For the sake of you who left a garden, I was betrayed to the Jews in a garden, and I was crucified in a garden. See on my face the spittle I received in order to restore to you the life I once breathed into you. See there the marks of the blows I received in order to refashion you warped nature in my image. On my back see the marks of the scourging I endured to remove the burden of sin that weighs upon your back. See my hands nailed firmly to a tree for you who once wickedly stretched out your hand to a tree. I slept on the cross, and a sword pierced my side for you, who slept in paradise and brought forth Eve from your side. My side has healed the pain in yours. My sleep will rouse you from your sleep in hell. The sword that pierced me has sheathed the sword that was turned against you. Rise, let us leave this place. The enemy led you out of the earthly paradise. I will not restore you to that paradise, but I will enthrone you in heaven. I forbade you the tree that was only a symbol of life, but see, I who am life itself am now one with you. I appointed cherubim to guard you as slaves are guarded, but now I make them worship you as God. The throne formed by my cherubim awaits you, its bearers swift and eager. The bridal chamber is adorned, the banquet is ready, the eternal dwelling places are prepared, the treasure houses of all good things lie open. The kingdom of heaven has been prepared for you from all eternity. From the lamentation of Jeremiah the prophet. The favors of the Lord are not exhausted. His mercies are not spent. They are renewed each morning, so great is his faithfulness. My portion is the Lord who says my soul, Therefore will I hope in him. Good is the Lord to one who waits for him. 
to the soul that seeks him. It is good to hope in silence for the saving help of the Lord. It is good for a man to bear the yoke from his youth. Job. Let him sit alone and in silence when it is laid upon him. Jod. Let him put his mouth to the dust. There may yes be hope. Jod. Let him Offer his cheek to be struck. Let him be filled with disgrace. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return to the Lord your God. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Return to the Lord your God. is the gold, how change the noble metal, how the sacred stones lie strewn at every street corner. precious sons, their fine gold, their counterparts, now worth no more than earthen jars made by the hands of a potter. bear their breasts and suckle their young. The daughter of my people has become as cruel as the ostrich in the desert. Suckling cleaves to the roof of its mouth in thirst. The babes cry for food, but there is no one to give it to them. Hey. 
Those accustomed to dainty food perish in the streets. Those brought up in purple now cling to the ash. The punishment of the daughter of my people is greater than the penalty of Sodom, which was overthrown in an instant without the turning of a Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return to the Lord your God. Here begins the prayer of Jeremiah the prophet. Remember, O Lord, what has befallen us. Look and see our disgrace. Our inherited lands have been turned over to strangers, our homes to foreigners. We have become orphaned, fatherless, widowed are our mothers. The water we drink we must buy, For our own wood we must pay. On our neck is the yoke of those who drive us. We are worn out, but allowed no rest. To Egypt we submitted, and to Assyria to fill our need of bread. Our fathers who sinned are no more, but we bear their guilt. Slaves rule over us. There is no one to rescue us from their hands. At the peril of our lives, we bring in our substance in the face of the desert heat. Our skin is shriveled up as though by a furnace, with the searing blast of famine. The wives of Zion were ravished by the enemy. The maidens in the cities of Judah. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Be converted to the Lord your God. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Be converted to the Lord your God. Oh,
sinless, the Lord has been put to death. The world is in mourning as for an only son. Hear my voice, O God, as I complain. Guard my life from dread of the foe. Hide me from the band of the wicked, from the throng of those who do evil. They sharpen their tongues like swords. They aim bitter words like arrows. They shoot at the innocent from ambush, shooting them suddenly and restlessly. They steam their evil course. They conspire to lay secret snares. They say, who will see us? Who can search out our crimes? He will search who searches the mind and knows the depth of the heart. God has not shot them with his arrow and dealt them sudden wounds. Their own tongue has brought them to ruin, and all who see them are not. Then will all men fear. They will tell what God has done. They will understand God's deeds. The just will rejoice in the Lord and fly to him for refuge. All the upright hearts will glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Those sinless I was dead, but now I live forever, and I hold the keys of death and of hell. Praise God in his holy place. Praise him in his mighty heavens. <coughs> Praise him for his powerful deeds. Praise his surpassing greatness. Oh, praise him with sound of trumpet. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipes. Oh, praise him with resounding symbols. Praise him with clashing of symbols. Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I was dead.
A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. The Lord says this, they will search for me in my misery. Come, let us return to the Lord. He has torn us to pieces, but he will heal us. He has struck us down, but he will bandage our wounds. After a day or two, he will bring us back to life. On the third day, he will raise us, and we shall live in his presence. The word of the Lord. Our Redeemer suffered and was buried for us in order to rise again. With sincere love we adore him, and aware of our needs we cry out. Christ, our Savior, your sorrowing mother stood by you at, our death and, at your death and burial. In our sorrows may we share your suffering. Christ, our Lord, like the seed buried in the ground, you brought forth for us the harvest of grace. May we die to sin and live for God. Christ, the good shepherd, in death you lay hidden from the world. Teach us to love a life hidden with you in the Father. Christ, the new Adam, you entered the kingdom of death to release all the just since the beginning of the world. May all who lie dead in sin hear your voice and rise to life. Christ, son of the living God, through baptism we were buried with you, risen also with you in baptism. May we walk in newness of life. Taught by our Savior's command and formed by the word of God, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. All-powerful and ever-living God, your only Son went down among the dead and rose again in glory. In your goodness, raise up your faithful people, buried with him in baptism, to be one with him in the eternal life of heaven, 
where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Benedicamos Domino. Amen. Deus gracias.